Right, so before we get into this week's video proper, now, <laughs> I've been denied about this a really a lot, right? But I started to shoot the video of fixing the niggles that I told you about in last week's video. Anyway, as you'll see from what's about to come up, it was absolutely disastrous is the only word I could put for it. Now, usually, a YouTube will have a disastrous shoot or whatever, and that footage just gets deleted and we move on to the next thing. And I have got, don't think I'm putting this video out because I have to. I've got other videos ready to go out. I've got the, the Lynchfield LM uh, GTR video waiting there, ready to go. I've got a couple of other reviews or a couple of other TT content videos that are in the bank. But, I thought this is a good thing. I, when I'm watching YouTube personally, the way, when I'm doing it to buy a car, it never quite goes the way when they're doing it. And even on my videos, there's people that will message me and say, we well, didn't work like that when I did it, or well, I did it the exact same and this hasn't worked, that hasn't worked. It's always different. But you never ever see anyone really mess it up. Or things go really wrong. So, I thought, I'm going to put this video up. And you can see what happens when think everything goes wrong. Because on this shoot, every single thing, not one thing went right. That's why I was just going to delete the footage, forget about it and move on. And then I thought, no. This is a good learning lesson for all of us that we're all in the same boat. Like, we're all learning. Like, all my videos are about us learning it together. Now you're going to learn how not to do it. So yeah, hopefully you see, hopefully people see why I'm doing this and appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'm always there to discuss in the comments. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what your feedback is. But like I said, never get disheartened. I, I say at the end of this video as well, never get disheartened. This stuff happens. There's always something going to break, a bolt going to snap. Something don't want to come off, something don't want to go on, you've bought the wrong part. It's just part of the fun. Even if at the time, and still now I'm in a bad mood about this, but even if at the time it doesn't feel like it, just know we're all in the same boat, whether you fixing your Corsa or fixing your Lamborghini. It, it, like We're all in the exact same boat. You know what I mean? That's why we do the stuff ourselves. It'd be easy for me to just take it somewhere. Which you know sometimes I do with the harder stuff. The stuff I definitely can't do myself. But it'd be easy sometimes to just give it to someone else, someone else's problem. But half the fun is, I built, I've done that myself. You get to a car meet. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I did that myself. You know, that's, that's part of it. So, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You get to see me in a, get in a more and more bad mood over the next, like, 10 or 15 minutes, whatever it'll be. So yeah, just like, share, subscribe. And um, hopefully the next one's better. But thank you everyone for watching. Thanks for the support. Love you all. Right, so hello. Welcome back to another video. And this week we're gonna be just sorting out the niggly problems that I told you about last week. So we've got a little bag of goodies. Let's see what we've got here. So we have got the clip to repair for the sun visor, we've got the LED bulbs, so these will replace all the ones inside, I think these didn't come with any kind of instructions on it, so them ones will work out as we go, and the sprays for the window washers, even though as I'm looking at them now they look different. Fingers crossed. So, and um, we're also going to have a quick look and see if we can work out if the rear window heater matrix is actually working. Because that was one of the problems. So let's look into that as well. So let's go out to the bay. We'll pull out the car and we're going to go in.
Right, so I figure we might as well start off with a nice easy one, which will be the thing. So let me open the door so the camera can get a good look at it. So we've got this clip here, and obviously you can see the plastic bit has broken off at some point. So I've got my thingy removal tools. So let's see if we can get these all a bit battered from the last time we used them. Because this is just, it should just be two clips. There you go, you can see it now, they go in to see it. So you want just a little, apply a little bit of pressure and they'll come out. Obviously, this one's already broken, so we don't really care about it. So let's get that, let me pour that new bag of stuff in. And there we go, that's what our new one looks like. So. If we just try, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. So where's, where's, now we do need the old one. Now throwing it somewhere. So this, you want this bit of case off it as I'm looking at it. Oh, there we go. So you see, you got that bit. Then this is like a case. So. We'll put the case on. Don't know if that metal bit's meant to come out of the case or not. Let's get in the ceiling. Let me look at the other one. Oh no, the metal bit just sits in there like that. Okay. So with this, I think we've got an age-old problem of eBay strikes again. I'm looking at the parts now, and they're just they're very different. You can see the difference in the eBay parts. So my fault for again ordering a cheap two-pound part. So for now, I'm just going to put the old one back in. I'll get back on the order. We'll order a new one, and this is a problem. We'll have to revisit, I think. So let me quickly get this one back up. Piece of metal in there, so let me, yeah, let me quickly get this one back up and then we'll stumble into the next disaster. So, you see, when it goes back up like that, you see how easy it just clips all clips together, sort of thing. So, yeah, just my fault for buying a cheap, crappy part that can go. And, um, I think what we'll do while we're here, we'll check this fuse. So, if you look here, is where your fuses live. Use the tool to pop off the little thing. If you look here, that's your fuse layout, and this is what they all do. So in my car, I don't have the the book, so I have to use this. So let me see if we've got one here. So here we go. We've got heated rear window. It should be number 25. So if we spin this round, look for 25. It's there. Let me jump back and get down there for a better look. So, let's see it. That way. Yeah. The 25 will be this one. We want to three, four from the end. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. So, we don't even have a fuse where we're meant to have one. So, that's why our rear window ain't working very well. So, let me see what it should be. It says. 30 slash 20 amp. So, I think we might have a couple of 20 amp fuses somewhere in the car. So bear with me one second and have a look. I've got the 
trusty 20 amp fuses. Now keep a pack of these in the car because constantly, whenever I do anything to the car, it seems to blow the cigarette lighter. So I bought these from Halfords. They're like a couple of pounds. So let's put one of these in there. For some reason it won't take the fuse and I can't, I can't see why. Too big to get right in there. So it's that is a definite problem. And look, I don't know why, for some reason the fuse won't, won't stay in any others. You just pull it out, click it back in and it's in. So I shouldn't just be pulling fuses out. But still, check that one's alright. There it is. So yeah, I don't know why that won't go in there. Uh, that is a problem we're going to have to revisit because that is why our rear window heater doesn't work. So, let's put this back and stumble on to the next one. Today is not a successful day. These are the days when being a car person really, it really tests your patience. Because some days, no matter what you do, nothing goes right. Right, so let's put them back. Let's move on to, I'll tell you what, let's get out of the car for a minute because the heat today. We'll grab our window washers and we'll do them. So, you're going to be born here. To our beautiful giant ram air filter, which I'm still absolutely in love with. Um, if we look here, this is where they live. So there was just on two clips. Let me get one of the tools. Right, so this so these pop out pretty easy. So we've got this clip, which is undo, the water. So just come off. There you go. And you've got this like electrical clip. It's just clips off as well. So there you go. So the only thing that's worrying me is that's what my unit looks like now. And then these replacement units, again. Another great eBay purchase. Don't look anything like that. So we'll fit one. We'll try one. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Because otherwise, I'm giving up today. So it seems to clip in fine. I'll tell you what we're going to do though. Before we bother fitting the other one. Let's have a look and make sure it works. Because with the way our day's going today, it's probably not. So... We'll leave you there, let me jump in, give it a spray, and please everyone keep your fingers crossed for me. Well, to be fair, it does work, but not very well, I don't think. So, look, uh, maybe we'll put in more. So we've got, now we've got a massive build up of fluid in here. If you look down here. Oh, uh, right, let's, let's have another look here. Yeah, no, I'm not happy with these either, so they're, they're, they're worse than what I've got now. So, it'll be another reorder. This video's turning out fantastic today. So you can break it for that.
So like I said, a really easy part to swap though. It's one, it's two plugs. One's electrical with a clip. It usually just slides off. But there you go. One's electrical. One's your water feed. And they are easy, but you can see these ones are just not up to it. Task. This is why you should always buy OEM parts, no matter what anyone tells you. Now, was I ordered these parts ages ago? They've just been sitting. It was. It's all completely my fault. Just that's the freezer wires back up. There you go. Just clip straight back in. Easy part to swap and change. Um, we'll be doing it again, obviously. Another piece of crap. Not a positive day. So, now, let's go inside and see why the interior lights won't work. There you go, so that's how the light comes out. It's just a clip. Uh, there you go. There's a little like push rod in there. Just push that in. Light pops out. Uh, way to do that and you can see your bulb in there but so here's our bulbs again our lovely eBay bulbs that now we can't open all right so there's no instructions nothing with these so I'm assuming this one it's for these just because of the similarity with the OEM part. So. There you go, so I think that's it. Just sort of sits there like that. Just put the cover back on. Okay. Cover clips back down. Clip the clip back in. There you go. One LED bulb fitted. So can't really see how the light is. A really sunny day today. I will grab a, some footage at night, which I'll cut in there, so you can see what it looks like. And uh, I am going to keep the bulbs just for now. So I reckon these ones are going to be a bit harder. I think you'd have to take out this whole lighting unit. Let me turn them off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, so there we go. So you can, don't need to pop out the whole unit. You can just pop off the cover there. Uh, if we have a, let's get, ah, what? Oh, oh. So I would have beat out my girly screaming then, but they're extremely hot because I've been sitting here with the door open and I have now burnt my hand. So again, today's going well. Some days, I will give you a piece of advice when it comes to this car stuff. Some days, just walk away. Just walk, just stop and walk away. Because <laughs> otherwise. Uh, why don't we let them cool down? I'll run over the other side, do the other sun visor light quickly. And if you notice, four inside lights, but six new LEDs. Didn't know why that was, but we have one for the glove compartment and one for the boot compartment as well. 
So like I said, let me go and do this one. We'll do the boot, we'll do the glovey. Fingers crossed then these won't be 8,000 degrees. Another little piece of advice, <laughs> as my excellent day continues, make sure you put the bulb in with the LEDs facing outwards. Like I said, some days just walk away. If this wasn't my only day to shoot this video, this would have been a wrap. So you might wonder what I was doing there, because it might be a bit sped up. But on as our fabulous day continues, one of the bulbs doesn't work. So we're gonna pack this one up there. But this I am still gonna put this video out, and the reason why I am good is because it's a good piece of advice. But not everything always goes right, even for people like me that doesn't do this stuff a lot. A lot of different cars and stuff. Sometimes it's just not your day. And today's definitely not my day. So, um, we are reeled all the parts, we'll go again. Uh, yeah, better videos to come. And um, like I said, thank you for everyone that subscribed so far. Please stay with us. It's not, all, it's not all fun and games. I try and be as honest as I can. The only reason I'm putting this video out there is because I'm trying to be honest and show people there's an age just like we all have these days when it just all turns to crap and don't let it get you down in it just we'll do it again then we'll do it again nothing's broke no arms done buy, exp buy, buy expensive parts don't buy cheap crap because otherwise you end up just littering the street with it as I've been doing today I don't worry we'll go around and pick everything up and put it in the bin so yeah like I said catch you next week for a a better time.